Today we're going to be looking at Sonichu number six, and what inspired me to take a look at this was uh, Christine's cover photo on Twitter. It's just like, you know, her with her mom and dad and all the characters from Quickville, and it just really made me think about, like, how real Quickville is to Chris, and how it's really this powerful thing, and it might be one of the most, like, fully thought out universes in the sense that Chris has like half lived in this world and half lived in Quickville her entire life. So let's let's get into this. So the reason we are looking at Sonichu 6 today is because it's a tribute to Patty Chandler, Chris's dog. And uh, Chris's dog passed away on uh, 27th of June 2006. She was 18 years old. That's actually pretty impressive for a dog. But Chris was really sad when this happened, and she decided to write a tribute to her in her famous comic book, Sonichu. So let's let's get into this. It's actually really sweet. It's one of the most genuine things that Chris has ever created. All Sonichu material is copyrighted 2002 to 2005 by Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons illustrated in any of the Sonichu comics, except that of Christian Weston Chandler, that may seem similar to anyone in real life, are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic parodic how do you I don't, I don't know how to say words some characters and images in this issue were originally thought up or drawn by megan schroeder with hearts quick allow me to introduce my sweet dog patty she was born on march 17th 1988 saint patrick's day she's part beagle and part spitz we open on the night of june 26 2006 where she's looking towards the moon from the safety of her pen Oh, I haven't felt as spry as I used to, and my rump's so itchy, but the moon is pretty tonight. That one twinkling dot lures me more with its sparkliness. Hmm. I wish I could walk and talk like my master, so I could tell him in his language how I feel, thank him for his years of kindness, and let him know I love him. Howl. Well, I'll have a quick snack before my nightly slumber. Next day. Patty? Patty girl? Tweet, tweet? Okay, scamper, hello. I have to feed Patty now. I definitely read that in the wrong order, but Chris Chan, confusing panel construction here. Oh, there you are. Come, Patty, it's time for food. Come on, girl. Okay, okay, mm, I'm coming. Ah, Patty, you can talk? Not only that, you look different, too. Hmm. What are you, huh? Wow, I can speak your language. Hooray for me. Hmm, little dizzy. Wow, I'm standing like you, master. My wish came true. Oh, master, I can't begin to tell you how elated I feel. Come to think of it, I feel so young, like as if I was three years old. That's 21 in dog years. Well, while I'm still in shock over your transformation, I am happy that you feel happy. Come, let's get some food, give you a bath, and a makeover would be good too. Oh, Chris, I am so grateful for your care over the years of my life, and I love you so much. Yet, I am tired of being confined in my pen. With my new form, I can now roam free, but I wouldn't want to put worse wear on my paws. Wow, I understand how you feel. I can help you. I know of a great place where you can run free and have great friends to be with and not have to worry about scaring the natives. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Where are we going? To get there, we have to take a shortcut in my bedroom. After you. Chivalry ain't dead. Watch your step. Wow, your room is a bit crowded. I can see one reason why you need a woman's touch. Yeah, among other good reasons. Open sesame. Swish. Uh, this way to Quickville. From my house to Quickville, any other way would be a longer walk. And we are here, the city of Quickville. Oh, where in Quickville are we? Patty, you and I are in the heart and epicenter of Quickville, my mayoral office. It is located above the shopping center's north entrance. Wow. Not only is it a home away from home, but every city document, every public decision, every single fun event that goes on in this community are all planned and stored here within these four walls. Ah, how do you handle these responsibilities while you are not here? 
Excellent question, Patty. I have a secretary who takes in the incoming documents. After looking them over, she calls me on my cell phone and gives me all the details. She then scans and transmits the data of the documents through a special PC program to the Quickville satellite, which it sends to my DS. Then I can read the document, including my fine print, and sign my approval on the touchscreen. The signature gets printed onto the original document, and it's a done deal. It would be really nice if Nintendo made a PDA program with the personal notepad function to take notes and memos with. I wonder if they did that in the future. A bit of time later. So, with that scepter and those bracelets I made for you, you will be able to defend yourself from the villains with some of my power that I bestowed unto them. Thank you. Now, before I forget, Miss Amber? Yes, Mr. Chandler? Patty Chan. This is my secretary, Miss Allison Amber, former movie star. She retired early to pursue her dream of being the aid of a big cheese like me. Allison, this is my sweet, lucky dog, Patty. She's undergone a grand transformation, and she wishes for more free roaming space, so I brought her up here. I'm delighted to meet you, Miss Amber. I am happy to make your acquaintance as well, Patty. I've heard the nice things about you from Chris. Allison Amber, age 26, in a relationship with her, ugh, boyfriend. Drive me crazy, Brittany Spears, feel so lonesome, Christian Weston Chandler starts playing. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Sonichu, what's up? Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. I'll be right down. I gotta go. Sonichu and Rosachu need me, Patty. I will come visit you time and again, but we'll consider Quickville your new roaming grounds, and this office your new home. Uh, do you have those items, Miss Amber? Thank you, Patty. Take this cell phone with unlimited minutes. Use it to call Allison or me when you are hurt. And show this card to the cashier of the supermarket, grocery store, or restaurant. They will give you the food you need and treat you with the high respect. Take care, Patty Chan. I will always love you, my sweet friend. And I love you, Chris. This episode is dedicated to the sweet, loving memory of Patty Chandler. One sweet, pretty, lucky dog. Patty Chandler, March 17th, 1988 to June 27th, 2006. There's something so sweet about this, I just can't put my finger on it. There's something about Chris just putting in so much time into Quickville and creating this universe and then just like introducing Patty to it and kind of giving her this new world to roam in. And there's just something beautiful about it. I don't know. I, this is, it's hitting me in the feels. Chris Chan. You were an artist. You could tell a great story. I, I really believe that. Rest in peace, Patty Chandler. You seemed like a really sweet dog, and I'm sure you brought a ton of joy, and I'm sure you're still bringing plenty of joy to Quickville or Doggy Heaven or wherever you are now. Rest in peace, Patty Chandler.